create a new simulation by navigating to the job designer page. Then, choose select workflow from the job actions menu and select the valence band offset workflow. Then, choose select materials from the job actions menu and add the interface material. Add the monolayer materials corresponding to the left and right side of the interface via the Material Actions menu. Next click on the Workflow tab in order to adjust the workflow parameters. First, adjust the window size for the macroscopic averaging to 5.7 bore, which is approximately the distance between sulfur atoms in a monolayer. Adjust this parameter in each of the three subworkflows containing an averaging unit. Next, modify the size of the K-point grid and path. Due to the reduced dimensionality of the material, some points in the K-path can be removed. Just like before, the same settings also have to be modified in the remaining subwork flows. After that, navigate to Compute tab, set the Compute configuration and finally save the job when ready. It can then be submitted to the Compute queue, for execution. Once the job has finished, open it, to inspect the final results. For each of the three materials, the results page presents the electronic band structure plot as well as the planar and macroscopic average of the electrostatic potential. The calculated value of the valence band offset is shown at the bottom of the page. This completes the present tutorial.